intertransversarii dysfunction, then we're going to move to anterior scalene dysfunction. We're going to make sure the first rib is pushed down. It's not an elevated first rib. When the first rib elevates, obviously, then you have more of a tendency for the clavicle to drop down on the first rib. We're going to make sure the clavicle is all right. Of course, I would take her through all the mobilization techniques that we did in the beginning to make sure her sternoclavicular joints uh, working appropriately and making sure her acromioclavicular joints working right because all of those things can cause the clavicle to drop down onto the first rib. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take Terry's head in neutral as far to the right as I can. This is just a shotgun technique for loosening the intertransversarii muscles. And then I'm going to keep it turned. Don't let it uh, go back. I'm going to raise it as, high, as far as I can without putting a lot of pressure on her neck structures. Then I'm going to ask her to gently put, push her head back toward the table, hon, to the count of five. Two, three, four, five, and relax. 